Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, 2025 is here and there's a couple of Blender add-ons that we'll all possibly miss during the festive period and there's a couple of cool brand new Blender add-ons that are now here. Some of these add-ons are totally free while you also be able to get some pretty cool discounts that are currently running that will definitely allow you to start creating quickly and easily in Blender. More so, there's also some very interesting stuff that can get you started, especially if you're an animator or modeling artist or possibly you just want to generate stuff. And with that said, let's get right into it. Tinkerboy has just recently released the set driven key Action Constraint Builder, and this is very similar to what you have with Autodesk Maya set driven key tool. As with this, you can easily set a driven key for a specific action to happen in Blender. This add on is used for setting up complex rig that needs predetermined poses or actions and can be used in various different cases, as it's fast, intuitive, and easy for you to start creating more efficiently and setting up your animations like you normally would. And with this, you can set your driven keys in four interesting steps, which includes loading the driver object, the target object, setting the pose that you want, and hitting the set driven key to store that pose. And with this, you can now easily go back and forth and get the set driven key to animate the objects that you want. It is quite interesting to see that we can now make this in Blender, and it's quite interesting to see how many things Tinkerboy has put together. So if you're looking for very nice trinket tools that you can use to create stuff faster in Blender, especially for your animations or maybe for your rendering, then Tinkerboy has a couple of things on this page which you'll definitely find super interesting. And if you've also wanted to learn how to sculpt hard surface models, then Jan has created a hard surface modeling course which cuts across various modes of creating hard surface models by simply sculpting them in Blender. Jan is a creator of the Blender Secrets which comes with over 200 plus pages of PDF and covers over 600 individual topics and videos. And this teaches you a whole lot of things that has to do with Blender, from tips and tricks all the way to how you can actually get working. At the same time, this creator has now put together a very cool course which allows you get started with creating hard surface models. This teaches you how to get started from simple reference all the way to sculpting the model. It also shows you how you can create video and brushes and also how you can proceed to create procedural pipes which you can use to stylize your mechanical model. This course also covers how you can create node groups for baking alphas and tiling displacement maps as well. More so, there's a huge set of tips and tricks that you'll be learning from this, which definitely makes it super interesting for those who like to get started with it. At the same time, if you're looking for materials, Jan has also created the Mech materials. Now, these are not just materials that you can drag and drop, this also comes with a course that teaches you how to work with these materials and also how to create these materials yourself. So if you're thinking about learning how you can create procedural materials, working with photo textures or working with colors, there is a good number of things that you will be able to learn from this, as this course covers a ton of things that has to do with materials, getting a full hang on materials and also how to apply them to your models will be a skill set that you have once you're done with this course. And it's quite interesting to see how much stuff that Jan has put together. And for those who like to take a look at Blender Secrets, or possibly you like to take a look at the Mesh Material or the Hats of his Model course, which is currently available and brand new, then links to this are gonna be in the description, so do well to check them out. Photoscan is a brand new Blender add-on from CG Matters, and this is a photogrammetry add-on that allows you to perform photogrammetry right inside of Blender. And previously, you get to use tools like Metashape, Polycam, and also Reality Capture. But with this tool, you can do your photogrammetry right inside of Blender. It is pretty simple to work with and has about three different levels that allows you to create your photo scan easily, from the low, medium, and also high, as all you need to do is specify where the images are located and hit photo scan, and the rest is easy. There's also a brand new update that has just been announced and this supports color. So at this point, this now interpolates the vertex color from the dense cloud and creates a BSDF material with color attribute, making it easier for you to now bake that right inside of Blender and have your full photogrammetry object textured and ready to go. Another cool and interesting tool doing 25% off is Liquid Splash from the folks at B Production, as they've just recently released this high quality collection of 3D water assets, which spans over 200 assets across 9 ready to use categories that you can work with. So, if you've always wanted to create that very nice looking render and you need water assets to simply create that scene of yours, then this is available for you. From environment all the way to product design, you do have interesting water elements that you can work with, as all you need to do is drag and drop and start creating that beautiful scene. So, for those who are thinking about creating water scenes, or maybe you want to create some fluid looking stuff and also play with some interesting materials that now comes with this, these high quality assets are now available for you and you can simply work with the materials and get even more out of it. More so, the folks at B Production also has a ton of cool stuff that you may want to consider looking at. 
And for a much more higher discount, the Folks and Lazy 3D has recently released the Fuzzy Master. And Fuzzy Master is a cute tool for creating fuzzy, realistic fuzzy and felt effect on objects, garments and so on. This works with animated models as this comes with realistic felt textures and automatic texture assignment which replicates the soft fuzzy feel of felt with carefully created procedural materials, fully optimized for performance, works with stop motion animation and also has some customizable parameters to control both color, density and fluffiness with interactive sliders for quick seamless adjustment. There's also a ton of presets that users can select from and at the same time they can also play with parameters to get the exact look that they're going for. So whether you're a character or clothes artist, or possibly you're thinking about making stop motion animation, then Fuzzy Master from the folks at Lizzy 3 d is definitely a steal, as this is now available for 40% off and you can simply come through and grab it. And when it comes to cloud, we've seen a couple of interesting cloud libraries. One from Kazaship, which is pretty cool. This now comes with over 200 stuff. There's also Cloudscape version 2 from the folks at B Production. And this is also pretty impressive. This comes with over 390 clouds, which are also amazing for those who like to get this. At the same time, this also comes with some interesting stuff that you can use to create fireworks and all. There's also creating cloud tutorial from the folks at CG Cookie, which gives you all of the necessary tips and tricks on how you can create your very own cloud. And of course, we also have creating procedural volumetric clouds for those who like to create fully procedural volumetric clouds in Blender. And this is super amazing because CG Matter did go over a lot of things. There's also alpha clouds for those who like to get alpha clouds and work with it. But something that we've not really gotten a lot of, especially in terms of clouds, is stylized cloud. And Re is making that possible for everyone, right? now as with this you can now create stunning stylized clouds in seconds this is a pretty cool tool that just simply allows you to craft your clouds however you want by simply giving you a couple of parameters that you can use to start creating your clouds easily so all you need to do is to use a simple base mesh and you can start creating your very own stylized cloud how you want with some interesting parameters that you can use to stylize randomize and create that very beautiful looking cloud that you always wanted at the same time, this also gives you a couple of interesting tools that you can use to create some nice looking smoke trails that can go alongside your cloud. More so, if you're thinking about working with assets, then there's a huge library of 89 pre-made cloud assets that you can easily drag and drop into your viewport and start creating with, with a ton of variation and also customization features which you can use to style your cloud how you want. So with this, you can now start creating that very interesting stylized cloud in Blender. And that's not the only stylized thing that you can get. There's also the stylized tree asset generator, which is amazing, which also allows you to create stylized trees easily and nicely inside of Blender. The same principles also apply as all you need is a simple base mesh and you can start creating your very own stylized looking trees. So if you need any of the stylized stuff, then you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can get them. More so for those looking for realistic ones, they have also mentioned these other ones previously and I'm also going to link them in the description just in case you'd like to see them for yourself. The folk has recently released Assetify and Assetify is a very cool add-on that allows you to process, bake and export your high quality 3D models to any engine. So if you're thinking about converting your assets to game, web, VR or AR or even 3D printed ready model, then you can simply rely on this to get this going. Asset Certify is a powerful tool designed to convert your Blender assets into optimized formats. So whether you're dealing with simple models or complex procedural setup using Geometry Node, this will get things going for you. As it features automatic texture baking for any asset and any quantity, exports to various formats which includes STL, GLB, GLTF, OBJ and also FBX, collection management, UV unwrapping and much more. So if you're thinking about getting your assets ready for exports to other DCC tools or gaming engines then you might want to consider taking a look at Assetify. Black Death Studio has recently released Japanese Shrine's Asset Kit Bash Library and this is currently doing a 25% offer for those who like to get it. There's also a 30% offer which I'm going to link in the description for those who like to get it and the Japanese Shrine asset allows you to simply start creating high quality Japanese shrines that comes with this asset pack. And this includes building, tori gates, lanterns, stairs, fans, and decorative elements. And with this, you can definitely start creating impressive looking stuff by simply dragging and dropping from your asset browser right into your viewport and start creating that amazing looking scene with materials to go alongside with this, allowing you create that distinct traditional style scene that you've always wanted. And this also comes with some interesting geometry node rope tool, which you can use to stylize and add some very nice looking dangling rope effects in your scene. So if you're thinking about creating a Japanese shrine, or possibly you're looking for an interesting asset that you can work with, then the Japanese shrine from Black Death Studio is currently available for 25% off. 
The folks at 3D have done something that's pretty interesting by simply releasing 15 free Blender scripts. Now, the folks at 3D are the very same creators of some interesting cool tools, which includes illustration, characters, avatars, hands, vehicles, animals, and so on. And the idea behind their tools is for you to be able to easily create motion graphic related models and also objects quickly, easily, and also be able to tweak them however you want. Currently, they are doing a lifetime deal which contains all of the stuff that they've made before and you can simply go ahead and check it. For those who like to take a look at these one after the other, then you can simply go ahead and see these ones yourself. And at the same time, if you go over to their Blender Market page, you will also be able to see all of them individually. However, the lifetime deal is currently available for those who like to get and save more on this. And these very same creators have put out a free Blender set of scripts. This currently contains 15 Blender scripts that can be super useful for you. And they include planning visible keyframes in your collections, sequential object keyframer, sorting collections and object alphabetically, sort selected collections alphabetically, removing empty collections, applying transform to collections, renaming objects with prefix or suffix, toggling collection visibility, moving objects to origin, converting curve objects to meshes, batch rename objects by type, select object by material, aligning selected objects to active and deals deals with both location, rotation, and also skills. Then we've also got the batch apply modifier to selected object, and finally generating level of detail on models. All of these are currently available totally for free. And for those who like to support the folks at 3D, or possibly you'd like to get any of the cool tools that they have right here, then links to this is also going to be in the description so you can check them out for yourself. The folks at Blender Procedural have recently released the Easy Parallax. Easy Parallax is a very simple yet cool tool for those who are thinking about creating parallax effect with one click on the model. As this features a one click parallax occlusion map setup, a real time displacement effect, mid minimal geometry, and this works seamlessly with existing materials. So if you're thinking about making parallax stuff, then you might want to consider looking at this. They've also been hard at work making tools like the Easy Gobo Lights, which is pretty similar to the Gobo Light textures from the folks at B Production. So with this, you can now simply start throwing those global light effects in your scene. It is quite nice what this can do and it is also pretty impressive to see that you also have nice looking parameters and properties that you can tweak to get a better result when working with it. This also comes with some very interesting options and parameters that you can use to fine tune and get a much more better result when working with it. One other tool that they've also made which is pretty interesting and recent is the Dust Maker. And Dust Maker is pretty cool for adding that nice looking dust effect in your scene, especially if you like to have some little bit of felt floating around your scene, which adds a bit of realism in the scene overall. And of course, for those who like to take a look at these three, or possibly you like to get the bundle, which comes with over 50 cool add-ons that they've made over time or maybe you like to get their relatively new Terra blend tool which allows you blend different meshes into one simple interesting mesh which also compensates for materials and all then all of these are going to be in the description so do well to check them out ICT 1.2.0 is now here and this is more of a refreshed refined and fully optimized version of the ICT tool this is currently doing a 25% offer and this tool simply allows you to effortlessly create detailed cityscapes with vast assets. And this includes buildings, parks, props and so much more. And this update now includes even more architectural themes and urban design options which now allows you to do even more stuff with nice improvement and enhancement for pack optimization, traffic simulation system, slope integration, new block types which now includes the raised block building, and also a new team which now blends modern aesthetic with functional design, offering a new layer of versatility to your urban vision and also creation. So for those who like to see this and possibly get it, then this 25% offer is currently running and coupon will be in the description. Lensim is also another interesting tool that is available and is a blender add-on that is created to simulate camera lens based on real-world optical data. It's a very interesting tool for those who are into cameras and possibly you would like to add some dynamism in your scene and with a single click you can extend your blender's default camera into a Lensim camera. Keeping the process of working with it is really easy and making it super simple for you to do all that real-world stuff right inside of Blender. It is nice to see all of the cool things that this currently comes with, so if you're thinking about working with various lens or maybe you want to simulate different kinds of lens inside of Blender, then this tool has you covered. So this is it, lots of things are currently available and for those who like to take a look at some of the main features and also some of the cool lenses that are currently integrated into Lensim, links to all of this alongside links to every other thing that we've mentioned will be in the description so do well to check them out. 
Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.